Hey, welcome back. Happy Sunday. This is the video you may have been waiting for since last week. We went to an incredible estate sale and there was so much to see. I have such a massive haul that I had to put it in a second video, which we're doing today. So today's video is the haul from last week's estate sale. I have about 50 pieces to show you. I'm going to try on. There's a lot of handbags and some home decor as well. So this is gonna be a ton of fun. I, for one, am really excited just to go back through these items. Some of them I have not tried on yet, so I will be seeing if they're going to work for me or if some of the items will end up going in my shop for resale. And if you missed last week's video, you might wanna go check that out first just so you can get an idea of this amazing estate sale. It was packed wall to wall in there. It was a little bit of a digger, so I was digging through bins and boxes of clothing, a ton new with tags, many, many cool vintage pieces, and some high-end designer luxury brands too. I am absolutely freaking out over this estate sale. It's, oh my God. I've been to a few really good ones, but holy cow. What is this? Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. That is a cool find. I think this is like literally the most beautiful garment I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> There's boxes of clothes everywhere. There's still a lot to see. So you're going to see all of that and more in my haul. You did see some of the pieces during the estate sale video, but there's a lot that you haven't seen yet. So let's get into it. I'm gonna start with one of my favorite pieces. I don't know why this one just, I absolutely geeked out when I saw this in the estate sale. I think it's the cutest blouse. And you know, I don't wear a ton of these big collars, but something about the embroidery on this one and like the primary colors just really speaks to me. So I'm hoping this will be one that fits me and that I can keep. Another beautiful little white puffy blouse, puff sleeve, little frilly mock neck collar, kind of bloused sleeves there, and it buttons up the back. This one I think is too small for me, but it's such a nice piece, and it's a lovely cotton and linen blend, so I thought I should snag it and put it in for resale for the summertime. You saw me find this piece in the estate sale. Such a fun pattern mix on here. It's a Liz Claiborne piece, which I love a Liz. 100% uh, cotton and it's plus size. So this one, I thought I might try it for myself, but I think it would be such a great piece to offer in my shop because really cool plus size vintage is can be hard to come by. So I kind of love to have those available in my shop too. Definitely freaked when I saw this a beautiful Susan Bristol blouse. Like look at the frilly collar, so fun. And don't worry, it was not $88 like the tag said. They only charged me the estate price. So really good buy for this beautiful intricate blouse. and a dead stock piece as well. Another nice, just lightweight cotton blend, fun collar shirt. This is gonna be something that I'll put in my shop as well, because again, these are the perfect spring layering piece under your dresses or jumpers, whatever you wanna do. This cute blouse, this is like a really light mint or aqua color and it has like a beautiful little cutout collar. I thought this was so sweet. I'm gonna try it on and see if I like the style because I think this could look really cute with some light wash denim. This 
This was a pretty exciting find. This is a Pringle luxury brand cashmere sweater in this beautiful bright teal color. Pretty good overall condition. There's a couple of pinholes that can happen with older cashmere. I feel like I should be able to just simply kind of stitch them up myself. So I thought that I would give this one a try. The cashmere is so soft and luxe and this could be a really fun kind of basic piece to throw on over tank tops and things like that for the summertime. I also got this little vintage wool cardigan. It has such a cute like ugly cool vibe to me with this like olive green and then mustard yellow layered up. It looks uh, like early 60s to me, but perfect condition, very soft and lovely and just kind of a fun vintage staple. Okay, this knit set, you won't believe, <laughs> is obviously this red cardigan with a cute little floral applique right there, little teeny rose. I love that floral detail, but also I really loved how the under piece is like a knit halter top. So it comes up just around the neck and then is like an open back situation here, but that's all knit. Isn't that so cute? The back of the neck just buttons around like that. I've never seen anything quite like that. I think it's so fun and different. And this is vintage and Klein. There were tons of pants available at that estate sale and in all different sizes. Really interesting, you don't always see such a great range of sizing at an estate sale. And pants and shorts have been on my thrift list, so I picked out these silk deadstock Ralph Lauren trousers. Gorgeous baby blue color, but I really liked the wide leg and the super high rise, but there's no belt loop, so I'm hoping these fit really nicely on the first try. We'll give them a shot. I gotta tell you though, this silk is so soft and luxe. Originally $139. I got them for less than $3. <laughs> I grabbed this fun floral skirt that you saw in the estate sale. Bright primary colors, totally my jam. Hopefully this is a good fit. Also, I love to find this brand Esprit is like one of my fave kind of 90s vintage brands. And this skirt has pockets. So what's not to love here? <laughs> Okay, check out this really cute patterned skirt set. I feel like the blouse might fit me, but I don't know about this skirt. Oh, I hope it does. The skirt has pockets too. This color palette is so fun. This hot pink with the little kind of jewel tone jewels, I guess, that go in the pattern. Next, I've got this beautiful August silk nightgown. Love those colors and the little floral pattern. I actually thought this one might be able to be worn as a regular dress because it's not super sheer. So I'm gonna try and see if it'll work on me. But if it doesn't fit, it's such a nice luxe piece to add to my shop. Also was super excited to find this beautiful Victoria's Secret gold label nightgown. It's got a really cute like Swiss dot lace situation. It definitely, this one has got to be too small for me, but it's another beauty to add to my shop, I think. I loved this animal print dress from Jones, New York. Love to find that brand. It was originally $172. Love how it comes with this cute woven belt and the dress has pockets too. This would be such a fun lightweight spring and summer dress, honestly, because you could style it so many different ways. Next, I have this beautiful little animal print sweater dress. This background color is like an olive green, which I'm sorry, that never really comes up well on my camera, but olive green with a black animal print. 
It's an acrylic knit, but it's super soft. I feel like this actually, because of the short cut of it, it actually has potential that you could wear it year round if you style it differently. Definitely would make an amazing fall layering piece though. I got this cute vintage Liz Claiborne dress, just this like teeny micro polka dot on a really kind of satiny polyester material. I love these 80s does 40s dresses that are cut like this. I feel like they are so cute and wearable and you can style them with like any type of shoe, like your Doc Martin boots or throw on a sandal or do like Converse sneakers and they look so cute. And luckily, while I was digging at that estate sale, I found the matching belt in a totally different pile. It just happened to be there. So I decided it was fate and I had to snag this. And a similar dress, similar cut, but just in a solid black, although the fabric does have a brocade pattern through it and a little bit of a sheen. So I thought this would make just an amazing like staple piece, just a good black dress with a cute like comfy elastic waist and a little bit of a puff sleeve. Like this is the blank canvas that you could style layering over like some chunky gold jewelry or scarves or like a bright colored belt. So a lot of good styling options for this one. Really excited about all these David Dart dresses that I found. It's my first time with this brand, but I really like what I'm seeing. I got three of them. I think they're all new with tags still. This one has like orange and yellow shoes and bags, accessories. blue and green shoes, bags. And then the teapot and teacup dress. Just a perfect throw on like one and done outfit dress. I had to, I had to get this gorgeous white kind of prairie style dress. Ah, uh, definitely reminds me of Gunny Sacks, but there is no tag of any kind on it. So if it is handmade though, I gotta say it's like absolutely gorgeous, really well done. And flawless other than like one teeny little spot on there that I'm hoping to get out. So it was probably really well cared for as well. She looks way too small for me personally, and it's not really my personal style. As much as I love white dresses, every time I try one on, I feel like I look like I'm in a cult and I don't know how to like style my way out of it. So I tend to shy away from them for myself, but this one would be so gorgeous on the right person. I had to grab this vintage blue velvet dress, just so stunning. I love the like, satin ribbon detail on the shoulder. It's obviously not my size, but it had to come home so I could put it in my shop and get it to a good home. I'm going to switch gears and show you real quick the t-shirts I decided on. I got the purple horse tee, the green horse tee, and the horse race tee. And these are all single stitch screen stars t-shirts, which is also one of my favorite vintage tee brands to find. You all saw me like flip my lid over these dead stock Jordache jeans that are tagged in my size. I just can't tell you, this is seriously a unicorn dream thrift item for me. A uh, while back, I did find a pair of vintage Jordache mom jeans in my size and those jeans don't currently fit me. So I've had to pass them on. And so the moment that I did that, I found these, I just, Moment of truth, we're gonna try these on and find out if they actually fit me. Also excited to try 
try these black jeans. They're Bugle Boy, super high rise, super dark denim. And these vintage kind of trouser shorts. I feel like these are the perfect cool dad short. Uh, a little bit Magnum PI, but not too short short. <laughs> Hoping I get a good fit on these because this color would be really fun to work with some different outfits in the summer. I got those two Pendleton skirts. These are both like a really nice lined wool knee length skirt with pockets from Pendleton. This color I think would be so fun to style. It's a nice like navy blue mixed with the white giving it like a light blue effect. And it is tagged a size 14 so probably too small for me. But this one might work. It's a size bigger as 16. And actually it's funny because I just recently thrifted like literally the jacket that goes with this. Hang on. <sighs> It's almost exactly the same. I could do a little set. I got this cute cream colored 80s like crop sweater top. Has like a floral knit in it. Really excited to try that one. I think it could be just such a cute sweet basic and it's a nice soft lightweight knit. So perfect for spring. <laughs> I got this nice cream cashmere sweater, a little bit like oversized for me, but just a big cozy pull on men's sweater. 100% cashmere, 100% so super soft, 100% I love it. Tons of good quality basics at that estate sale, so I knew I had to take something home. This is a vintage black cape with a hood. I just thought this was so awesome. I'm not someone who like normally rocks a cape on the day to day, but like, can you imagine the fun styling possibilities or costuming or just like live your best goth lifestyle life? Oh, this is so cool. Like I would just, absolutely love to know the story behind this and like the original owner and like what they wore it for and everything right very very cool unique piece i also found this really cute uh crochet cape with these big oversized white buttons. This type of item honestly has been highly requested during my live sales, so I knew I had to snag it for my shop. I love how the buttons are like chunky, extra round, like they look like little planets or something. Okay, this is a rescue denim dress. Looks like a 90s piece. It's like a nice chambray denim with pockets and a really cute embroidery. But it's a rescue because I am seeing some stains on it. So I'm hoping I can do an oxy soak and get those stains out because I just thought it was so cute. I didn't want it to end up in the trash or something just because of the stain. So we're gonna give it a shot. Thoughts and prayers for her, okay? <laughs> and another cute chambray snag. This is a cotton button up. I really loved the print on this one though. It's got these cute little like sun pattern on it. And it's vintage, it's plus size. Just that like perfect fun basic piece with a little bit of a twist. So haven't decided yet if I'm keeping or if I'm gonna put in my shop. So I'll try it on and see how it goes. I scooped some vintage Levi's denim shorts in this like kind of light sage green color. 
They look like they have a super high rise, so hopefully those are a great fit for me because I could definitely use some shorts for your upcoming hot weather. Another kind of a rescue piece, this beautiful vintage Union Bay denim jacket. Such a nice light wash, really good cut and style, but it's got a couple of stains. They gave it to me for a song, so I'm hoping if I put a little bit of love into her, we'll get her back in prime condition and then it can go up for sale in my shop because I know people are always looking for really great vintage denim jackets and this one is just gonna be too good. this this is so cool this is a london fog faux leather jacket i've never seen like leather or faux leather from london fog so this is kind of a fun find for me i love this bomber style it's got the elastic around the wrist and the waist and some cool like button pocket details as well looks like it's probably an 80s jacket definitely kind of in that members only style but it has a nice removable liner too. So really good quality actually for a faux leather piece. I got these two crochet blankets. Uh, this lime green and white checkered one. This is like kind of a couch blanket size. And then this one with the little flower pattern is more of like a long thinner one. You almost could wear it as like a blanket scarf, I think. Super fun and cute, right? Like a very obviously vintage. And the type of thing that I feel like people pick up to upcycle into something you can wear like a poncho or what have you. So I actually snagged these to bring to an upcoming flea market show that I'm doing and I have like a whole vintage home decor section and I just felt like these would fill it out really nicely. Now this tote is full of handbags mostly. I got this striped faux leather colorful one. Kind of looks like a clutch but it does also have a little strap. Got this little vintage animal skin. I don't know if that's snake or crocodile or something I think it's snake it feels like very sleek but uh, I loved the closure on it cute little shape cute little handle I got this vintage like chain mail clutch with a little hinge opening pretty little bronze color would be fun to style this one I think is a 90s 100% uh, silk bag again with the hinged opening but then it also has like a long strap so you could do crossbody with it. Really good size too. This one feels like it would be super wearable for everyday use. I got this little vintage pearl beaded clutch, like this little diamond pattern on it. Those are all like silver inset beads. And then the back is plain pearl. I honestly saw this and thought that would match my wedding dress really nicely. So I might actually carry it for my wedding day if it holds what I need. I think you saw this one in the estate sale, just a cute like tapestry bag, but I like how it has some metallic thread through it. So there's a nice little sparkle to the fabric, cute little jewel closure on top. And it was made in West Germany, so 80s or older. You also saw that like white patent esprit bag with all the like time capsule goodies inside. I kept that Velcro wallet. It's empty. This one, like how cute even with this outfit I'm currently wearing, just like a bright clean white bag like this. I think I will use it all the time for styling. You saw this little vintage brown bag love like the cute little boxy rectangle shape of her and it's like a faux croc material no tag and i think you saw this little made in belgium beaded purse this is like exquisite like perfect condition not a bead missing 
cute little rhinestones on the top and it has a little makeup mirror on the inside. Oh my gosh, this like, uh, this is so exquisite. A vintage eel skin bag. And then it has a strap, which I feel like you never see. It has an inner pocket and it came with an eel skin wallet. Oh, still all in perfect condition. This is just like the only way this would be better is if there was just like tons of cash inside. And I mean, <laughs> it's so cool. It's a Lee Sands bag. I found this funky Kuji tie. I got this cool red genuine snakeskin belt with gold hardware. I always need new belts, like they wear out for me very quickly, so. I got like five scrunchies. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> Scrunchy city. Here is the last one. This was actually the thing I found right away on the second day that I went to the sale and it's a faux Fendi bag. So spotting the Fendi label right off the bat, I was like pretty excited, but I'm still excited about it because I think it's a really cute style. Like neutral colors with the stripe is really fun and unlike anything else that I have in my bag collection. It needs to be cleaned up a little bit. It's like a faux leather situation. But it's got a good size and like nice pockets. The inside is still really good condition. And it's got a shoulder strap. So yeah, I think that'll be fun to carry my little faux Fendi purse. Well, that was everything from this awesome estate sale. I really hope you enjoyed seeing all those pieces and just kind of digging through that entire collection with me. And if you stuck it through for both videos, thank you so much for coming along with me. I normally do like to include everything like thrift with me and haul into one video as much as possible, but this one was just too long. So you guys can let me know what you think if you like to see everything in one video, no matter what, or if you are cool with having it as a short little series of two videos. I know I mentioned a handful of times that some items are going up in my shop, so I will link those below if you saw some pieces that you're interested in, as well as my friend Laura's shop, which is on Instagram at Yellow Brick Roads Thrifts. You guys know my friend Laura from other videos on this channel, and she has a really cool vintage resale business on Instagram. So you can check her out as well. She ended up with a lot of pieces from this estate sale, so if you saw something in particular that you were interested in, feel free to hit up mine and Laura's shops. So that's everything for this week. I'll see you guys down in the comments and then again next week for a new video.